our senior game just happened to fall against like the best school in our conference, um, one of the best uh, schools in the state. And so it's kind of disheartening when you know you're going into that type of game um, as your like senior hype night. We actually played amazing against them we took a couple sets from them we didn't end up winning but just when you know and going that you're the underdog and you end up coming on top um even just a little bit of a win is a huge huge win when we made it to the march madness tournament we were at ucla and we were were picked up by a bus and police escort and we were escorted with police um to the airport. So that was a pretty cool feeling to be a senior and to feel like all your hard work had paid off. I got to be in the same airplane with my mom, with our band, and just the enthusiasm and energy to feel that people really want you to be successful and represent your schools. Uh, 2016, we had a phenomenal year. It's always tough in the Mac West. You got to go through Toledo and NIU. Um, but then my, senior, my, my junior year in 2016, we had two non-conference games against Big Ten opponents. The first one was Northwestern at Northwestern. We were up by about two or four, one of those numbers with about a minute left, and they're on our five-yard line. Their quarterback takes the ball and, and runs it, and then Robert Splane comes in and tackles and fumbles it, and we get the ball back and win, so that was good. We go back down to Illinois the following week or two weeks ago, and we're in Champaign, and we just run them out of their own stadium run about like 17 points they couldn't they couldn't stop us running all over them we actually go undefeated we're 16 and 0 we beat ohio in the mac championship we get selected to play in the cotton bowl down in uh dallas texas against wisconsin we get down to dallas texas it's wisconsin it's a bigger team it's not like the northwesterns or illinois they're more physical in the trenches and and we played a, a, a very solid game against them and i think we lost by eight uh, but just that experience down there and playing a New Year's Six Bowl was, was amazing. It was our conference meet and I was throwing the weight throw. I went in the circle. I'd been practicing well. I felt really good. I just kind of let the nerves roll off and I ended up having a personal record over a meter of what I'd previously thrown. And I ended up getting second in the meet and that ranked me like fifth in the nation. So that was just Really exciting to see a breakthrough and just see that what I had been working hard for was really worth it. And it was just so much fun. The moment that I ran out of the tunnel at the big house, if anybody's familiar with Michigan football, it's a whole thing. So the football players run out and they run up and hit the banner and everything. But if you you don't really normally see this on TV, but 10 minutes prior to that, the band runs out and then the cheerleaders run out with them. And it's just such an exciting feeling. I remember the first time I was so so scared there's so many people waiting on the other end of that and so you're running down this tunnel and I could slowly see the light getting bigger and bigger and I started realizing I saw this sea of people it was 110,000 plus people staring at us and I was like oh my gosh what am I doing and you just kind of have to run and keep a smile and have fun Oh boy, I, I uh, this is my first year in medical school and um, it has been different because of COVID, but I just recently organized um, a whole event to make blankets for the homeless community in Kalamazoo. It just takes one person to make a difference in the community. Um, so not only do we do stuff for school and sports, but we also need to help our community. And just like walking by my uh, setup, the blanket setup and seeing people like volunteering to make these blankets. My favorite moment as an undergraduate student, I think was graduation. It was just kind of that, again, we were in the big house for graduation. I was walking um, across the stage in my cap and gown and on the field that I had been cheering at for four years. And it was really cool just to be able to have both of those things at the same time and really realize the culmination of all of my hard work and effort really paid off. And I had graduated, I had made it, you know, and that was just such a warm, great feeling. I absolutely loved that moment. Probably this time that I just absolutely crushed this organic chemistry exam. Since I was never that kid who knew he wanted to be a doctor from the time he was six, um, I definitely had my moments where I was just like, am I just being crazy going after this? Should I just stick with something more in my comfort zone? You know, I've been playing the piano my whole life. I could just stick with that or maybe go for something that isn't such a like long and complicated process that I already feel like I'm a step behind that. But I think from that moment on, I felt much more like I belonged in science and math. And like, 
I really had no business being intimidated by anything here anymore. Pretty recently, actually, we just finished our last exam um, as M2 students. And just that moment of reflection, like knowing I'm done, I'm about to move on to clinicals, which is like the most exciting thing. Um, I've known book work. I've done book work for years. And so knowing I'm moving on to be in hospitals and work with people, it just lifts my heart knowing that I'm actually moving on to a step closer to where I want to be. We former student athletes are in the medical field. Hashtag we out here. (laughs) 